2020 is the year where I truly think Gymshark comes about. The coronavirus In crisis. Isolation. You have to work 330 billion you must stay at home. A global movement. Racism is the other pandemic the world needs to address. Change is happening because we demand it. This video is going to be the 2020 year in review about this unique and crazy year. How do I start this? Last year we had an incredible, incredible year and I shared with you the £240 million sales in number. But this year, despite everything that's been going on in the world, despite the constant challenges that we faced, we have continued to grow at an incredible, incredible rate. So in 2020, Gymshark sales in number was £380 million. And even sat here saying this, it's given me goosebumps because this is something I never thought that we'd be able to say. And a huge, huge milestone that that also brings is Gymshark this year will have broken a revenue sales in number of over half a billion dollars. So last year we did about 11 million units, whereas this year that has increased substantially to around 16 million units. These numbers are just off the scale and I'm so, so proud of what we've achieved. The community is bigger than it's ever been. Gymshark Main hit over 5 million followers. In January at the start of the year, the Gymshark 66 campaign was absolutely incredible and the stories of all those people that were you know, working hard through the 66 days to create those positive habits, through, that were working on their physical fitness, that were working on their mental fitness was just brilliant and so many people here at HQ were so heavily, heavily involved which was absolutely brilliant. Shout out to Bywater who ran every single day for 66 days. Fast forward then through to March, and that is when all of our worlds were completely and utterly changed. The COVID pandemic became a thing, particularly over here in Europe and in North America. We were pretty much immediately having to work from home. During that period, we ran our NHS sweaty selfie campaign. Birmingham. Jim Shark are donating five pounds to Birmingham NHS Trust for every sweaty selfie you send them. So we essentially challenge you to do something to contribute to your fitness take a selfie and for every selfie that people would take and then put onto uh, social media, we would then donate five pounds to the NHS. And then from a social perspective, one thing that we did do, which was quite funny and quite cool, was we changed our name to Home Shark. And that was literally just a little nod, a bit, little bit of a joke, and it was all around reminding people to stay at home. So coming into the lockdown, Gymshark opened its first ever test retail stores. Super happy to say the first two weeks went incredibly, incredibly well. But after two weeks, we had to close the store down because again, the COVID pandemic. Fast forward then to May, the events team decided to do our first ever online event. It was just a really, really cool moment where everyone could get together online where they couldn't get together in person at the time. June was, it was a difficult month for so many different reasons and it was during this period that we in the UK had been starting to hear about what was going on in the States with the George Floyd murder and everything that was going on surrounding that. We realised that we have to make a stance, particularly for anti-racism. We realised as a community that you know change needed to happen. It was something that's truly, truly important to me that people in this world have equal opportunities. It's never been more clear than change right now. It's happening because we demand it. July here in the UK, the gyms reopened, and that was a huge, huge leap forward for so many of us that are so, so passionate about our physical and mental development and our physical and mental fitness, that we could go and we could train again in the gym, we could practice resistance training. It was less so about the home workouts and the running. Now in the background, me personally and a lot of the leadership team had been working actually tirelessly towards the deal that would then later be announced in August. It was one of the most all-consuming periods of my life. It was just an incredible moment that I never ever thought would happen. Having been there from day one, from that first stitch, that first sewing machine, that first screen print, that first event, to have followed that journey from that moment all the way through to there was just an incredible moment. Ben, welcome to the programme. Joining me is the founder of Gymshark, Ben Francis. 
So, come October, it was Black History Month here in the UK, and Gymshark dedicated its channels to amplifying black voices. Yeah, we've got to be out here leading by example. We want a better world, we've got to, we've got to lead. November, probably the busiest month of the year for us. First, Whitney launched her range, and just huge, huge credit to Whitney what she's done here. Overall, it was an incredibly successful range, and I'm looking forward to the next Whitney range, and I know that Whitney's got some incredible ideas. We did the True Geordie podcast, and we were quite adamant between all of us that we didn't want it to be like a limited conversation in, in any way. We didn't want anything to be off limits. I enjoyed the challenge, and I came out of it learning a hell of a lot and understanding where the huge opportunities for Gymshark's growth are in the future. It was quite a surreal moment for me to be sort of in their, in their apartment in London, to be having that conversation and to be sat across from them. Welcome back to the True Geordie podcast. It's been a while. We got through to the Black Friday period, which from a commercial perspective, from a numbers perspective, it was just incredible once again. But for us here at Gymshark, it was a little bit of an anti-climax because we're so used to having so many people in the office. It's like this cultural phenomenon here at Gymshark where where everyone pulls together and for this one sort of period of time it was just a weird feeling there was only a handful of people in the office so much of it was done remote but thanks to everyone here everyone's hard work combined with everyone at Shopify at Blackman and at Radial the just overarching experience of Black Friday albeit not perfect was hands down the best experience that we have ever ever offered So as we now come into December, the Denver office is finally just about to be finished. We've actually got another office over the road which is just about to be finished as well. As we finish this year, I must admit personally, it's been the most difficult year of my life. We had the deal, we had everything that's going on in the year and we've had the insane business growth. It has been tough, but ultimately I am so proud of how we're finishing this year. We're finishing it strong and we're ready to use this as an opportunity to then continue to grow and continue to build one of the greatest brands in the world in the year 2021. This is just beyond anything I've ever seen before. One of the things that I am the most proud of is that we've always put the community first and we've always put the brand first. Ready? I want this to be a brand that truly lives on and I guess can be all of our legacy. The world is a different place, but with change comes opportunity, and I think 2021, we all have the opportunity to do something truly special.